Stress fordert Übergewicht, kein Weißmehl, kein Kaffee. Seit ich dieses Buch von Brandon Brazier gelesen habe, habe ich das Gefühl, ich mache alles falsch. Es wird Zeit, dass ich den Mann mal kennenlerne, der sich vegan ernährt und gleichzeitig sportliche Spitzenleistungen vollbringt. Vielleicht stelle ich dann ja auch mal meine Ernährung um. Okay, schlechter Witz. Hi, Brandon. Hey, Anna. What are we going to do today? Well, let's make some recovery pudding. So, let's go shopping and get a few things. Now, Brennan, you live vegan since you're 15 years old, quite a long time, uh, and you were a teenager. So, how did you come up with the idea to live uh, vegan? Well, I actually didn't try to become vegan. I was running track in high school, and I just wanted to be a better athlete. And I started trying different ways of eating to help speed my recovery, because I noticed when I ate certain things, my recovery would be quicker, which meant I could train more in less time. So then I tried a completely vegan diet, just as an experiment. And at first it didn't work well, but as I learned more, I found that it did work very well when I did it right, and I recovered more quickly, I trained more in less time, and I improved, and I started racing Ironman triathlon professionally. So the recovery pudding is something I eat directly after my workout. Right, exactly. So you want to have it 10, 15 minutes right after the workout. And that's going to help restock muscle glycogen that you've burned through in the workout. Plus it has some protein. It's got a, about a four to one carb to protein ratio. And that protein starts the muscle repair process happening. Okay. This is very easy. You can just throw it in, be pretty casual with it. That's about right there. So, and if there is not a season for blueberries, you can take frozen ones? Yeah, exactly. These are frozen, so that's okay. Sea salt. Mm -hmm. And then we got Ruibus tea, which again, high in antioxidants. Very important. It's just a good functional ingredient. Tip it in. And now, the hemp protein. So, something unique about this pudding is it's got a 4 to 1 carb to protein ratio which is ideal right after a workout to help restock muscle glycogen and get some good protein in there. So put in the almonds. Then we have a lemon. We'll cut it and half of it just take the juice. So now we have water. So it depends how thick you want this. So just dump a little bit in there. So in your book you write that most people focus on training but not on recovery. Why is this wrong? Well, training is definitely a big part of it, obviously, but it's no more important than the recovery phase because you actually become weaker after training. You break down your body and it's not going to be stronger until you've recovered properly. So you, the ability for you to work out hard and effectively is based on how quickly you can recover. So as you can see, this one is a little more liquidy than some. Mm -hmm. I like it like this, like a really thick smoothie, almost like a, a soup you, you eat with a spoon. Okay, this looks really good. Mm -hmm. Let's oh, try yeah. this. Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. Do I have to eat this way 100% or can I make sometimes some exceptions? Even one small thing you do, even just once a week, you're going to start to feel better. And most people feel so much better, they just keep doing it. But you don't have to do it 100%. Thanks a lot for your time uh, and yeah, for this uh, really delicious thing. Thanks, glad you liked it. I hope it helps your recovery. Das ist gar nicht so schlecht. Und vor allem, wenn es wirklich bei der Regeneration hilft, dann kann ich ja noch mehr laufen. Hm. Vielleicht soll ich das mal ausprobieren. Scheiße, jetzt muss ich hier aufräumen. Ha, nee, das ist ja ganz einfach. <lacht> 